as for where I studied, then walillahi alhamd, and all praise you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that I have been upon Salafiyya, or what we understood to be Salafiyya, since the late 1980s. Since the late 1980s, I was introduced to Salafiyya in around about 1988. My first, in those days, of course, this was, you know, pre-computer, pre-mobile phones, pre-all of that type of era. So, in that era, our contact with the Mashaykh and Ahlul Ilm was, you know, scattered, to say the least. We had some brothers who studied at the Islamic University of Medina, and they had some contact with some of the great scholars there, like Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Baz, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin, who were, of course, alive at that time, and likewise the likes of Sheikh Al-Albani. And we would receive a lot of that information by way of those brothers who were studying. Then by about the mid-90s, or even before that, then we had direct ourselves, myself, I had some direct contact with some of the Mashaykh and some of the students of knowledge who, were, who had studied themselves and are considered to be from Ahlul Ilm. From them were the likes of Sheikh Muhammad Abu Uthman, Muhammad Al-Anjari, under whom I studied and completed Usul Sunnah of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and the likes of from the other Mashaykh of Kuwait under whom I studied the Aqeedah of Abu Bakr al-Ismaili and also, of course the I'tiqad of Abu Bakr al-Ismaili uh, likewise in that same era meaning in the early 90s or mid 90s I had studied Bulugh al-Maram with those same Mashaykh and at the same time we had started now visiting the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and from the Mashaykh that we met and we benefited from was Sheikh Rabi' bin Hadi al-Madkhali, Hafidhullah Ta'ala. And that contact with him and sitting with him and benefiting from him and sitting in his durus has not ceased on a yearly basis. From that time till now, a year has not gone by except that I have made myself one or two visits to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to sit with those Mashaykh and sit in their durus, not just to give salam and walk away but to benefit from them where I could with questions, sitting with them, sitting in the durus. Also, we made very strong contacts with the likes of Sheikh Ubaid bin Abdullah al-Jabari, under whom I had completed again Usul al-Sunnah of Imam Ahmed, the Aqeedah of, uh, of the two Razis, a Sunnah of the Raziyain, Abu Hatim and Abu Zur al-Razi. I completed under him, Walillahi al-Hamd, al-Usul uh, al-Thalatha, al-Qawaid al-Arba, under him also uh, the Aqeedah, the Aqeedah al-Salaf, Ashab al-Hadith of Imam al-Sabuni, Umdat al-Ahkam, chapters from it, Sahih al-Bukhari, chapters from it, Bulugh al-Maram, chapters from it, all of this under Sheikh Ubaid bin Abdullah al-Jabri from the great scholars of Medina. Also with uh, Sheikh Muhammad ibn Hadi, sitting in his durus whenever we had the opportunity, benefiting from him with questions in his house, in his masjid. Also Sheikh Abdullah bin Abdul Rahim al-Bukhari, Hafidhullah ta'ala, I spent a whole year studying, living and studying in, the, in Kuwait under some of the, the Mashaykh of Kuwait, from them again, Abu Uthman, Muhammad Al-Anjari, and other than him, from the Mashaykh of Kuwait, Sheikh Ahmed Subai, Sheikh Tariq al Subai, also with Sheikh Abdullah Al-Ghudayan, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, as you know that he was from the, from the Lajna to Daima for a period of somewhere in the region of a quarter of a century alongside Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Baz. I knew him personally, he knew me personally, I studied with him directly from his voice over the telephone and other than that, by sitting with him when, he, when we used to visit the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, I completed almost the whole of Kitab al-Tawheed with him and other than that. So, and many of these mashaykh and many of these scholars, from them Sheikh Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, even though I did not study under him directly, then I have uh, from him, walillahi alhamd, a tazkiyah, dating back to 1990, 1998 and then he renewed it before he died we met him, I sat with him uh, even though I did not sit in any of his durus but I knew him and he knew us walillahi uh, alhamd other than that, then there are other mashaykh and scholars their names slipped my mind at the moment because I wasn't expecting of course this question to be asked and many of these mashaykh from them Sheikh Ubaid bin Abdullah al-Jabri I consider myself to be one of his students and he considers us to be from his students uh, we also have Tazkiyat, myself, from Sheikh uh, Muhammad ibn Hadi, bin, uh, Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi al-Madkhali, from Sheikh Rabia, Tazkiyat, from Sheikh Abu Uthman, Muhammad al-Anjari, Sheikh Ahmed al-Sibai, 
and other than them from the Mashaykh, Sheikh Abdullah Al Ghudiyan, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, the Allama, the Mufti, the, from, the, from Sheikh Abdullah Al Ghudiyan, I have a Tazkiyah also. So, this is where generally, in a nutshell, that I can say that I benefited from, and I hope that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala continues to benefit me and benefit my brothers upon the Sunnah and upon Salafiyyah, and that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala makes us humble and sincere, and I do not utter any of these words out of any boasting or out of any arrogance or out of desire for any praise from anybody, but only from the aspect that when an individual says that you are commanding us or you are telling us to be aware of who we are taking knowledge from, then we need to know about you also. So I'm only informing you from that bab. You may ring Sheikh Rabi'a if you wish. You may ring Sheikh Muhammad ibn Hadi. You may ring Sheikh Ubaid bin Abdullah al-Jabari. You may ring Ahmed al-Sabai. You may ring Sheikh Muhammad al-Anjari. And I would say that my greatest and longest tutorship is under two. is under Sheikh Ubaid bin Abdullah al-Jabari and Sheikh Abu Uthman Muhammad al-Anjari. These are the two greatest influences. And then thereafter, I would say the other two, Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali and Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi al-Madkhali. Barakallahu feekum. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon those who have died from amongst them. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give a long life and preserve those who are alive from amongst them and preserve them upon the sunnah.